Before beginning this, I'd like to mention that this talk mentions mental health issues and abuse, and if this is something that triggers you, please note this and do not feel obliged to listen. You may be wondering by now, what is the troubled teen industry? And from the outside, it's an industry that claims to help rehabilitate and teach troubled teenagers who struggle mentally and so rebel from their parents and are in need of loving care. The question is, does it do as it promises? The industry is a vast business that receives an estimated of $23 billion of annual public funds to supposedly treat the behavioural and psychological needs of the vulnerable youth. It's estimated between 120,000 and 200,000 young people currently reside in some type of facility which falls under the branch of the travel teen industry. You may be wondering by now, why is this an issue surrounding child abuse? And this is because, despite its claim to help the children, it does not provide loving care and has typically been known to maltreat the teenagers. In 2008, the US Government Accountability Office published a report identifying thousands of allegations of abuse, some which resulted in death in residential programs across the country. Although said findings were over a year ago, over a decade ago, sorry, there is still no federal regulation or oversight or consistent regulation among states. Many facilities do not even keep track of the number of placements or the length of stay. Although, do please note that not all programs engage in these controversial practices. These institutions work by parents being manipulated through fear tactics into believing their children urgently need the care, and then are manipulated not to believe their children if they say anything bad about the facility. Introduction to such facilities include involuntary youth transport, which involves being woken up and taken in the middle of the night by strangers. This has often been described as feeling like kidnapped, as feeling like you're being kidnapped. Children can endure years being held in these places without any genuine medical assistance. The so-called treatment falls far short of therapy and fails to provide any meaningful help or support. Despite persistent allegations of abuse, this deceitful industry has thrived for decades, and shockingly, many of these institutions have been closed down only to rebrand or reopen again. This harrowing experience can leave survivors with lifelong trauma such as complex PTSD and is a leading cause in suicide, abuse and depression. Moreover, hundreds of children have lost their lives or tragically taken their own lives in order to escape the distress. Descriptions of, of experiences in the industry include descriptions of strip searches, physical abuse, chemical and mechanical restraint, conversion therapy and a lack of basic needs such as food and water. Unless the government intervenes, thousands of children will continue to suffer in silence. People must be aware of these controversies and advocate for improved standards, regulations and transparency within the industry to ensure the well-being of the teenagers seeking help. Provo Canyon School in Utah has been accused of abuse by many former students, including Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton has recently spoken up about her experience and how she found herself in the industry. Paris has now become a figurehead for a movement to shut down the troubled teen schools. She's helped introduce new laws in Utah which put limits to the use of restraints, drugs and isolation rooms in the youth treatment programs. Data gathered by the US Government Accountability Office recorded over 1,500 staff being involved in litigations for abuse in 33 states in 2005, which is unfortunately the last year data was made available. Most of these involve restraints gone too far or done incorrectly, causing physical harm and serious damage to the teens. Numerous programs within the troubled teen industry impose severe communication restrictions or enforce punishments known as code silence. So what's currently being done? Hashtag Breaking Code Silence is a survivor-led campaign created in 2014 to encourage people who have endured abuse at the troubled teen industries to speak out about their experiences. It's really important that this hashtag is known and can allow people to share their story and advocate for their own change. Physical and mental abuse to these children is leading to serious mental health impacts. Reduce, uh, it's eradicating child abuse in America would reduce the overall rate of depression by more than half and suicide and domestic violence by three quarters. Therefore, I would like to reiterate the power of and the impact a lack of love can have on people. My aim is to shine a light on the harming effects of this industry and bring it to a stop in order to help those who are currently suffering and those who will continue to suffer in silence. Thank you very much. <laughs>